Happy Halloween! Let's paint a haunted house today! Step 1. Draw the ground line and then a rectangle above it for the first story. Draw a line above the rectangle for our roof. Step 2. Connect the top line to the rectangle for a rooftop. Split the second story in half and then draw a door on the left side of the first story. Step 3. On the second level, make the left line as tall as the middle line and the right line just a bit shorter. And then you're gonna go ahead, add the window to your door, add your tombstones, and add another rectangular window on the right side of the first story. Step 4. Let's go ahead and draw the rooftops to our second story. The left side is going to be taller than the right, so watch carefully how you draw those lines. Go ahead, draw a T in the middle of both windows in the first story, and add a doorknob. On our right, let's go ahead and include a friendly ghost. Step 5. In our second story, let's go ahead and add some windows and connect our rooftop lines. Let's go ahead and also add a chimney and another ghost fan coming out. Add a wiggly line on the first ghost on the bottom and then a full moon behind the house to invite our werewolf friends. On the right side of the house, go ahead and draw a circle for our jack-o'-lanterns. You can draw any face you want. And then write RIP or rest in peace on the tombstones. Good job! Now you're ready to paint! Get out your paint set, a paintbrush, a cup of water, and a towel. Let's start out with the walls. When you're painting, make sure you paint the sides of your shape. That way you can keep your edges clean. And then you can go for the middle. When you're done with the walls, make sure you wash and dry your brush properly before changing into a different color. You can use orange now for the rooftops, the door, and the jack-o'-lantern. Next. Use yellow for the windows and for the moon. Paint the jack-o'-lantern too. Then you can use white for your ghost and your tombstones. Paint the grass green by using short vertical strokes to imitate the texture in real life. Don't forget the stem of the pumpkin either.
When the yellow paint is done drying, make sure you use the orange to paint the window and door frame. And then use purple to paint the ghost faces, the bat in the moon, and the cat in the window. Lastly, try adding a roof design or a rocky pathway in white. Go ahead, add stars and perhaps a doorknob in yellow. One tip, make sure you use the back of the brush to make the dots in the sky. And voila! Your haunted house is complete! But I bet you don't have a living room! 